hi all welcome back to the channel and for the new people here welcome to the channel please give it a subscribe if you want more videos on this car or other cars so what we have today is the Astra on the Excel stand again and I'm going to try and tackle the front brakes today so the brake pads and the front discs so I've taken off the alloy already just to gonna make the video a bit shorter and I'll just quickly show you the steps here while everything is still on as you would find it when you take off your wheel so what I've done is I've give it a clean gave it a clean already with a wire brush and a um, bit of brake cleaner and also a tip before you take off your alloy spray with the WD-40 WD-40 on the lug nuts and stuff especially if it's on for a bit and also if you can reach these bolts beforehand or even after taking the alloy and before going at this this is one 10 mil bolt here so I'll try and show you that's the other other 10 mil here so give it a bit of bit of a WD-40 for that this is for your caliper as you can see this bit will sorry this bit will come off and you'll be exposed with your brake pads so that's all you need to change or even if you want to just change your brake pads you can take this off twist it open and you should be able to change your brakes but today we want to do the discs so I'll just follow along for other instructions and we'll see you in a second so that's what I have here a 10 mil socket and uh, you can also use open-ended kind of spanners but I prefer this because it's better to gonna get a grip and I've also already sprayed loads of WD-40 on it and also uh, cracked them open already so it will make it a bit easier to open the video at least and make sure to use your gloves because especially on a brake job things get fairly dirty so I'm going to go on the other side actually you're going to have two of these like that yeah so what, that's the top one and that's your bottom one there that's your second one there so it is kind of stuck on a small bit which is good because you don't want to slacken it off a small bit like that and I've loosened this rubber the brake hose as well just slide it off as you can see that's your clipper there so I'm going to try <laughs> and just hang this off that like this yeah so there is no pressure on the hose itself and the caliper is just hanging there it's not ideal but it does the job so after removing the caliper and putting it to the side especially for the people who are only going to be using this guide to change the brake pads this is where you come in and there you go so just get a flathead screwdriver and just place it behind the pads and try to kind of go from the middle like this and they should come off easily enough and as you can see this one is fairly gone because I know myself that I haven't changed these for a long time so and this other one I know you'll be thinking why this bracket is loose because I've actually gone ahead and kind of loosen the cracked open the bolts on the back side as well so I'm just coming to that now in a second so after you have removed your brake pads this is the the other kind of bracket brackets let's say or clips for your brake pads this is where they slide you need to clean them off properly with the wire brush and like these especially the way they're gone too bad now I personally think I should have changed them but I think I don't have them with the pads I bought so I'm going to clean it as much as I can and I'm going to apply a bit of copper grease here and there where the pads are going to be sliding so I'll show you when I'm doing it and also make sure these 
pins are sliding in and out so this doesn't look too bad it's not great but it it's okay for now and the top one here yeah they need a bit of cleaning so I while I'm taking it out I'll give it a clean lubrication as well and the most hardest bit let's say especially the, the thing which scares people off is to compress the piston there of the caliper because with the new calipers going in now there won't be enough clearance for the newer pads sorry the newer pads uh, so we'll show you how to do that as well in a second and the next thing I'm going to do is to take off this caliper retainer bracket as they call it I think with two 21, 21 mil bolts so as I said earlier give loads of WD-40 to it before you actually tackle them so I've gone ahead and pushed the caliper back to the side and then I'm using a 21 mil socket I know this is a bit deep impact but doesn't matter so I've slacked them off with a big breaker bar and I think that's what you should use as well and then this as you can see it takes a bit of force once you start it's not too bad then spray extra bit of WD-40 there as well like that and for the top as well and I'm going to start doing the top one now so I'm going to keep going slowly with this as long as they uh, until they come off so just for a bit of satisfaction I know it's not ideal situation but just for a bit of satisfaction to be honest I'm going to use my impact gun to loosen one of these off just to see yeah so it definitely saved us a bit of time this is your 21 millimeter bolt that's the other one there for you and then this retainer bracket or caliper bracket should come off this is it for you here we'll see you in the next step I'm going to try and take off the brake disc now and for that you're going to need a T30 torque set and I'm using a normal spanner you can use bigger smaller I prefer this because it's good enough grip so this is the first time I'm trying to do it so fingers crossed but I've sprayed a nice bit of WD-40 already before already so hopefully here we go also I have the brake uh, uh, the car in first gear now just to stop it from moving some t some people say you should do it when the brake caliper is on so I think that's a uh, better advice so I'm going to just try and force it, yeah, so I was lucky there, you know my hands are in front but I'll try to give you a better view. So I've removed the screw as you can see, just take your time with that, I would say just rotate it in and out a few times using with the WD-40, so I'm going to try and take off the disc, it's usually easy. So just wiggle it off like this and there you go just to give you a quick look at the disc it's the older one older disc so I knew that hasn't been changed in a while as well as you could probably tell by the pads already so what I'm going to do now is clean off the wheel hub I suppose they call it with a bit of wire brush and brake cleaner and give it a nice clean as much as you can and then I'm going to be using a bit of copper uh, grease there as well just uh, uh, as an NTC is really more or less so we'll see you in the next step next I'm going to try and rewind back the caliper as I explained earlier to make clearance for the new pads in the new disc so for that I'm going to use two things you can actually do without both of them there's plenty videos on it you can go and look up but in 
here that's the rewind tool I'm using you can find them fairly cheap online so this one is just basic kind of pull or whatever you want to call it basically brake piston rewind tool and the next thing I'm going to use it's actually handy to bleed your brakes and stuff as well uh, it's just a, I suppose one man brake and clutch bleeding kit from Helford in my case you can find them online and here's it's basically just a bottle with a, a bit of hose on it where it's used is just on the on the back of the caliper or in this way it's on the top side there's usually a rubber there's usually a rubber cap on the bleeder valve so I've taken that off and next I'm going to use a 10 mil my favorite socket as well to kind of loosen it up I want you on the camera maybe or I will yeah so I'm going to basically loosen that off I know this is not in an ideal situation but I'm going to just try and work it just not too much just enough so that you can see the brake fluid coming out I hope you can see it there so I'm just going to try and rest it wherever I can and just slide the rubber hose onto the nipple like that just leave it there so here we are I've pushed the bottle to the back you can do without it some people close this off and open the lid of the brake reservoir brake fluid reservoir basically but I don't like the old dirty fluid going back up so I'm going to be kind of bleeding or taking out the old fluid as I go along so I'm not sure if you can see this is my line coming out of the back of the brake caliper so as I gonna go in just take your time and take it easy like this it once it in the start it's gonna harder but once it starts going out it becomes easier so like that so you might be able to see it there the fluid is actually coming out like this so just try, I'll try to show you a bit better angle so we're nearly there I'll just try to go as much as I can because the new brake pads are kind of thicker way thicker than I had anyway so that's it there I think it should be more than enough for us so you wind the tool back just one or two turns and you should come back out like this that's your tool and that's all your caliper gone back all the way as you can see and then there's a bit of dirty fluid in the bottle and then I'm going to leave the bottle on it and I'm actually going to do a bit of brake bleeding after I install it so stay tuned for that So before installing the new discs I've tried to clean as much as I could and I've applied a bit of copper grease as well on it because it acts as uh, an anti seize as well and here are new discs or disc for this side anyway so what you do uh, is give it a quick spray of the brake cleaner give it a good handy wipe because they have applied some kind of oily coat on it so you just take that off before you apply and same on the other side and we'll see you now when I'm installing the disc as you can see the new disc is on it and also I've installed the caliper bracket or the carrier if you want to call it and the shims as well I've applied a bit of copper grease uh, you don't want to go too mad just enough to give it a nice uh, smooth surface to slide over for the pads and then I will try and show you how would you go installing the the bracket itself so as you can see the nut here so the, the sorry the bolt the bolt goes in cross through the body and then carrier or the bracket comes after so the the caliper bracket it actually works as a nut so your bolt the body and then your uh, bracket caliper there or whatever you want to call it 
so and that's that there i will try and install for the brake pads just to tell you as well the brake pad wear indicator so it's a little metal tab which starts making noise the one which has this one it actually goes on the back side of the brakes so i will try and install the front one now first because it's a bit easier i think so i'm gonna try i'm not sure which way it actually goes so here we go um i tend to go just try and install the corners so just as you can see the tip on one side and this and also the the round side kind of comes out if you can see there and just try and push it in like that so i should have actually applied a bit of copper grease on that as well the tabs the little tabs on the pad which i'll do in a second now and uh, the same goes on the other side as well so uh, we'll see you on the next step on to the next step so here is our caliper as you can see i'll try to show you there so i've applied a light coat of uh, copper grease on the piston front and on these uh, tabs as well which which are going to be pushing the brake pads on this side outer side so i'm going to try and fix it up there there you go so just like this just try to wiggle it on so as you can see my piston is fully retracted as you can see so it went fairly easily and if you didn't head it you'll, you'll struggle to fit it in so that's one of the 10 mil screws just going to start from the top side and just basically use that as a guide just leave it there the second one in the bottom like this I'm going to tighten these up and we'll see you on the next step which is I'm going to be bleeding the brakes on to the next step so which is bleeding the brakes I have everything installed and in place what I've done is this is your brake fluid or piston bleeding valve it's a 10 millimeter nut so there's a usually rubber cap on it as well so you you remove that loosen or crack open the nut few, small few turns and you'll see the brake fluid coming out and as soon as you do uh, you can place a rubber uh, I've installed the rubber bottle there in my case you can use any hose or any setup you have and then I'm going to start the car this time to press the brakes a few times I'm going to keep pressing it as long as there's no air in the pipe so or the hose and I'm going to actually a bit overdo it I have loads of fluid in the topped up the fluid basically to the max level and I want to get all the bad fluid out the brake fluid so in this way I'm going to press a few times and in this way I'll, I'll clear the all the old fluid and I've actually done the rear too and I'm on the front passenger side now so we'll see you in the next step which is going to be basically putting the stuff on and uh, I'm I will have that stuff all closed up the brakes are bled uh, at least on this side anyway and as you can see all the dirty fluid is out it looks a bit extra dirty because of the dirty bottle itself but overall it wasn't too bad i was actually expecting a bit worse but at least you can see the kind of fresh fluid kind of coming out anyway so that's that and uh, all i've left to do now is put the wheels on or the alloys on do the other side and test the brakes and basically bed in the brakes and pads first if you're not sure what that is look up there's plenty guides up there and i'm just trying to finish up the video here because i believe that the video has gone too long already so i'll complete the video here thanks very much for watching all the way and uh, if you haven't subscribed already to the channel please do for more videos to come and we'll see you in some other video